Miami FC and the home kits tonight. We'll be moving from left to right. And this brand new season of Miami FC ball is officially underway. To a youthful club. Lacroix looking for some real estate. That shot just outside the 18 off the goal post. Plenty of woodwork there and still scoreless. Really good passage of play here from the switchbacks. When you have an outside back that requires so much attention but also has the vision to understand as I bring in three, four Miami FC players, there is an opening gap right on top of that 18-yard box. Jairo Henriquez. Lacroix, fortunate bounce here. Lacroix, sharp angle, good stop there. We already got the left leg out. Six back for Miami FC. Not going to get beat there. Enriquez want to get it back, and he does. Into the 15th minute. Enriquez, sweet spot for him. Man, that thing was tailor made, Ricky. What do you think if you're Antonio Nocherino, the message to the boys so far, 15 minutes in, is to stay a little bit more compact in your defensive structure? Ooh, Foster probably should not have played that one. Echeverria had the better look. Lines is down. That strike. Lacroix testing the left hand corner. Gagliardi with a nice move. Work against Santos. Cavalanes. Good. Gagliardi trying to work that weak side. He had Lopez out wide, but couldn't feed it to him. Now the pass, never had a chance, Musa. That one top of the box, second strike, and it finds twine! Andrew Boo from outside makes it one nothing, Miami FC. Well, it's their first chance of the night. And Andrew Booth and company, Ricky, they make it one to nothing right out of the gates. And we talked about it in the open, how good of a preseason Gavianias has. He's baiting this side. He's waiting for this run from Gagliari just to break this line. But as this ball rotates over, look at his head. Head up the whole time. Enrique is asking for it. Tejada here. Tejada trying to work a lane himself with the left foot. Spin on it. Foster trying to hit the post as well. That thing hit it flush, it stayed away. The outside rolling out way. Go back to this opportunity for Malik Foster. You talk about the fluidity that James Chambers wants to play with. That's your right-sided winger, the top of the six-yard box, and it's not an easy finish. A decent moment of possession. Not hyperbole at all. Kevlan, yes, from well outside. A bit ambitious. Thomas walking his way near the spot. Williams, around 50 yards out. That was tough to manage. Oh, Springs, and here they go on the counter. Tejada with that right foot, awfully close. Major threat, did not have a lot of steam on it. Would not have crossed the goal line. Mines, Booth couldn't control it. Tejada does. Tejada softly through Damas. Mahoney's on the left side asking for it. That shot trying to go short side. I don't know if that might have gone off the foot of Metrano. After this contest, Miami FC will stay at home. They get a date with Sacramento next week. Looking to attack here immediately on the intercept. That shot, the left foot going high and wide as Players don't look gassed at all, but again, kind of what you alluded to early on, Ricky, is just about your body getting properly conditioned for a full game. It is an international flavor for Miami FC here in a brand new year. A lot of players from your back post, that was dangerous. The rebound there, Christian Herrera, he looked lost between the pipes. Spoken a whole lot about Don Knutson. It's always a good thing. But she play on the back line. Searching, looking again. That header. Right, no, it's going to go just a little bit up. Oh, Andrew Booth looking for a second goal of the contest. Mahoney, good kick out there. 
patient, are they? Gonzano with the intercept, and now he goes pressing the attack three on two. Gavillanez, left hand side, wide open net. Doesn't have enough power. Did it cross the goal line? The rebound shot won't go. Mahoney, and then it's out to the races for Miami FC, and Gonzano does everything right. He baits in Musa, and then when he bites, that's when he dishes it off to Gavillanez. But a long busting run from the center midfield. But you have to give credit to James Musa not to give up on the play, because so many times when a center back gets beat, they put their head up. Last Tonight has not been the case. Got a moment here, Mejia looking to make a step, he goes down, and the official points to the spot. Carrera looking for the insurance marker in the 85th minute. Boda against Herrera. Pulls the trigger, he scores! Well, he is all smiles, and it's a perfect reward for Mejia. Boda with an absolute bullet. Herrera with little to no chance, even though he guessed right. And it's two subs from Antonio Nocerino. Again, next match for Miami FC is at home next week against Sacramento Republic. One of the top dogs in the Western Conference. Mejia looking to make it 3 nothing. More woodwork this time for Miami FC. Easy for Miami FC to break this first line of pressure. And a result of that, just so much green grass to operate in. Mejia, he's been fantastic. Deep possessed by Mejia. And that's going to do it. Brand new year for Miami FC. Tons of changes across the yard and on this roster.